Guys, good morning. Thanks for coming back for another daily dose of the McNeils. Claire, do you like that one? Yeah. <laughs> we are working on the dishwasher this morning. Terry and I got up early and got this thing torn out. We had to take apart the drain, get the water out, and unhook the electrical. For some reason, my electrical comes through in a weird spot right here in the floor, but it's like six inches from the back. The new dishwasher is gonna require us to put an outlet box in the sheetrock in the back. So we've gotta get that done. We gotta get the dishwasher opened up and see if it needs anything else. Check the drain, that kind of thing. Clear. What? Can you help me get this box off? It's a two person job. You lift on that side, I'll lift on this side. But we're gonna. <laughs> but the thing is, if, if we lift it with Poppy on there, she's gonna end up like at the ceiling height. Why? <laughs> because she's gonna be like four or five feet in the air <laughs> above this. At the box, so what we wanna do is get down here to the bottom. Can you see where I've cut that? Yeah. Oh, it's like opening a prison. So that goes over there. Copy. I like to take all the garbage inside this box. I'm sure the kids will want to play in there though. I've got fun designs. That's it. Why is it so cold? Because it's been outside. This needs to keep it warm. Yeah, it's its blanket. It looks like um, the village with the snow in the village. <laughs> it probably is the same stuff. Alright, so we need to get off this little pallet type thing, whatever they're shipping on. Mm -hmm. has a soccer game this afternoon, so I am gonna take him to Orem, watch him play soccer. Clay is going to hang out here with the girls, continue to work on the floor and the dishwasher. just got home from soccer. Unfortunately, his team lost five to zero. This is the first game that Owen has been available to play in this spring. It was fun to watch him. He was on fire, he did great, but unfortunately they did have a loss. While I was gone, Clay got a ton done and got the dishwasher completed. We just slid that into place and got it secured. Got a little bit more flooring down. We are getting so close to having the main part of our kitchen all the way done and then we will have to move into the laundry room next. This dishwasher has been an all day marathon. We finally got it 
put together, 100%, got power to it, got the water lines hooked up. We ran into a little hiccup underneath the sink, but handyman the, Clay here got it fixed. The valves were leaking, and so, usually the ones that have plastic like in the handles, right? So you got like the metal handle, but it's a plastic piece going in. Those wear out really quick, so. I got it hooked up, saw that those were leaking, had to cut them off, use some PEX crimpers, crimped on some new ones, just loaded the dishwasher for the first time, and we're getting ready to see how well this bad boy cleans. I'm gonna to try to get one more dish in there. The reason I'm gonna to try to get this extra dish in there is because Terry yells at me if I don't like overload the dishwasher every time. <laughs> I am one of those ones that, if it fits, it ships kind of a person. Like, if it fits, it's getting clean. So, shove it in there, get it clean. <laughs> I'm, I'm rather just make sure every dish gets cleaned 100%. Like, I don't wanna overfill it because I wanna make sure each dish that I eat off of is sparkling clean. <laughs> I've never had my dishes come out dirty, so there's so, that. Here we are. So this dishwasher is kind of fun. It has this top rack that we've never had before. We've obviously seen these all over the place, but it's kind of fun to have it. Spot for all your knives, spatulas, things like that. And then just your regular old racks. So, this dishwasher is supposed to be super quiet, so. Did you put soap in it? No, I haven't put soap in there, but we are gonna need some. I thought you were in charge of the soap. I put the finished jet dry in there. Oh, that? Yeah. So we need one of the like Tide Pod looking things or whatever. Yep. These guys. Yep, right there. Our kitchen is an absolute mess right now, but we will soon be getting this put back underneath the sink. One of these little guys. This thing's kind of interesting. It's like, you like spread that. Like springs back like a bear trap. <laughs> One of those things right inside there. I like to have the little red thing facing up. I don't know why. Good? I think so. Good to go. For start. All right. Our other one needs to have buttons on the top. I like the buttons on the front. That way it's easier to see, especially if you get close to the countertop. We should do a pro wash. No, you want to just do normal. Oh. I, I consider myself a pro dishwasher, so should I not use the pro wash? The pro wash I was reading in the thing, it's like a, an automatically programmed, like supposedly it can sense what's in there and it's kind of like, it chooses how much water to use kind of a setting. Oh. Uh, so. Normal it is. We're yeah. Gonna go normal. We'll go with normal, make sure everything gets cleaned. Are we gonna use heat dry? Yes, we Extend heat, heat dry or four hour, no, four hour delay is for bedtime, right? Heated dry, no, you want heat dry, there you go. Boom. Start. Done. All right, let's see how quiet it is. I don't hear anything. It's dead silent. <laughs> <laughs> we know it has power. There it goes. Maybe not. I hear it. It's much quieter than our other one. The other one sounded like a grizzly bear or something <laughs> like that. Uh, but this one is supposed to be very quiet. Oh well, I'm not gonna sit here and wait for this thing to do its thing. <laughs> Guys, today we have witnessed a Christmas miracle. <laughs> We got the entire main floor, minus the bedrooms, done. All the way into the laundry room is done. So I have to move the washer dryer back in there. Tomorrow we will work on baseboards and hopefully get some painting done. But it's all done. Hallelujah. It feels good having the flooring done through the kitchen and the laundry room. Who knows how long it'll take us to do the bedrooms. That one's a lot more involved, getting carpet out, pad out tack strip, baseboards off, taking out all the staples, building up the floor, uh, those could take a while. So here, we might just put the baseboards on, let Terry paint, at least get the main area back to normal. Does that sound good? I'm not painting, I'm not painting. <laughs> we'll see. Get your sister Bobby up here, she used to be a painter. She can help you out. So, uh, guys, thanks for watching today. We love you, and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow.